Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away. We now got part 19 of Hashet Partworks Build the Terminator. I was grateful to get this because last week this was a day late. Unfortunately, it's the other way around now. The Bismarck wasn't in my news agent, so uh, that's going to be delayed this week by the look of it. But we've got the Terminator, and in this one, we don't need any of the parts that we've been working on the part past uh, issues because all we're going to be doing is working on the jaw motor. And that all comes contained here. As you can see, I've got it all laid out here. We've got the actual motor. Looks like some surrounds for it and a gear for it and just some screws. Uh, let's just show you what we've got to do. Oh, turn it over. Uh, as you see, we're working on the jaw section. Um, we've just got to be putting the gear section into the housing. Once it's locked into the housing, we're going to be putting the motor in, making sure that the motor and the gears are actually intertwined. Uh, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> we're not doing anything else. It's just going to be put together like that. Um, quite a quick issue. This is going to be uh, working out to me. Uh, and as you can see, in the next issue, we've got the mount for the assembled motor inside the Terminator's head. So we're going to have two motors in there. The one that's controlling the eyes and obviously the one that's going to make the jaw up and down. And when that starts being able to... Uh, uh, communicate by itself and be like an animatronic. <laughs> it's gonna look really interesting, isn't it? So, anyway, let's get cracking. Okay, so the first parts we're gonna need are the actual cog gear here, and we're gonna need the housing for it, looking like that. Now, as you look at the top of this here, we've got two holes, which is gonna be able to uh, accommodate some screws. And then we've got like a hole just through there, which is where this spindle is gonna go. Uh, also to help us line it up, we have got a little lug just at the top there, if you can see that. Uh, which is going to meet the lug on this side or the female version of the lug on this side it's going to go together like that so it's nice and flush uh, and then we're just going to need to put two screws just into these ends here and here and the screws it wants us to put in are six times five mil screws they've labeled them as pwb screws but i'm going to open this pack and just see if there is a difference in the screws they've sent us we've got some which have got a flange on i've got three of them and then the ones that it wants us to put in make up the other six that I've got there <laughs> I said five there which guaranteed I'm going to have a spare so uh, what we do load up my screwdriver and we'll get the uh, screws in here quite simply I'm just screwing them into here now it's a shame that my Bismarck's uh, late I know we're doing a little bit of the whole uh, piece and the DeLorean's still late the DeLorean hasn't come in from last week yet and I am suspecting that because issue 130 and issue 131 are bundled together in the same pack. It wouldn't surprise me if the news agents did skip a week last week. So that we're back to regular schedule on Thursday this week. So that should be good. Uh, and there we go. That's just that stage complete. Looking just like that with the gear underneath. Okay, the next section we're going to need the motor. And we're going to need a uh, housing for the motor as well. This is going to be going on this way with all of these holes upwards. So when we put it on, it's going to sit. It has actually got some lugs in here, which enable this to sit in quite nicely and not be able to move around. And we are going to be putting some screws in here. Now, the screws that we're going to be putting in are the flange screws, and they're going to be going in through this way at the top here. And the reason we've got that flange is obviously to stop that falling out. So I'll just get this loaded up. I always find the flange screws is a lot more fiddly to work with because obviously with these magnetic screwdrivers, there's more surface area for them to uh, bite. I'll just get that screwed in. Quite a lot of screwing on this one. And if you can hear a gush of wind in the background, it's because I've got the fan on. Because underneath this studio lights, it's about two million degrees in this room at the moment. And the last thing you want to see is me sweating away, putting all this stuff in. But here's the second flange screw now. That's in. Actually, these screws are labelled up as, uh, let's have a look if they gave it a name, PWE 2 times 6 mil screws. There we go, that's what they've called them. Uh, so that's on just like that, looking like that from this side. Now in the last section, all we're going to do is take the bit that we made in the first section and put it towards the motor that we made in the second part. But what we need to make sure of is this dial on this side is pointing down. Now you've got a little lug here which stops it going any further. So if it was round there and I turn it back, it will only let you go so far. And that so far is when it's pointing down. And once we've got that, you can see we've got two holes here. They're just going to match up with these two screw holes that we've got on this section here. So we just marry that together, just like that. I'm going to hold that with my fingers because we are going to need to put some screws in here now. And the screws are just these silver ones that we used first off, which I believe were the PWB they labelled them as. So we've got the first one in there. I 
make sure this is nice and tight because now this is together those gears are interlocked so once I've got this last screw and I shouldn't be able to turn that dial that you just saw me turn before because now that's under the complete control of the motor here's the second one nice and tight there we go I'm just going to check that dial now yep I can't move that that's fully locked in uh, at the mercy of the motor and guess what that's all we've got to do as I said in the next issue we're going to be installing this into the endoskeleton head so uh, not really a fiddly issue not really much to do but I'm sure that uh, when the next issue comes out we're putting this in the head they've got to be letting us do a test of that and if that's the case we get to see eyes and jaws moving so early saying that's going to be up to like issue 20 we've almost got the head fully complete I'm, I'm well impressed with that that's brilliant uh, I don't know when there's going to be a Bismarck out this week but hopefully there will be a DeLorean out on Thursday and there should be a live stream on Thursday as well I am working on the victory introduction as well I've got it behind me here uh, so that will be coming probably the end of the week probably Sunday I would have thought uh, because it's going to take a lot of editing that is also another big shout out goes to Matthew Cahill who uh, sent me the case over here for the um, um, proof that Tony Stark has a heart that Beanie Bear sent me the actual Iron Man reactor that looks brilliant doesn't it uh, and I also got another gift in the post from Jason Brogdon the guy who actually sent me the uh, um, the, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man look I've got a pin badge of the Ecto-1 now which is excellent I love this and this is going to sit right there because if I start wearing that, I'm going to lose the pin. I know I am, but that is absolutely brilliant. And my retro cord is really coming together. Look, I've got Big Track. It's my birthday Thursday, July the 4th. And uh, that was a birthday present from my kids because uh, I won't see them for a couple of weeks now. So uh, I've had that early, but that is really coming along. And with the uh, arc reactor, boy, things are popping. But I'm sure I'm going to get into that when I do my live stream on Thursday. Listen, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like the video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Take care.